make sure nobody comes in. You ready in there? It's 16 feet tall and 24 feet wide worth of pure power. Six 500 horsepower engines capable of simulating a Category 3 hurricane. You can see tiles flying off. You can see the actual roofs coming apart. We can have the whole roof section uh, get sucked up, lifted up, and thrown, out, thrown away. 2.5 volts. It's 2.5. Researchers at Florida International University in Miami use this wall of wind to figure out which structures hold up and which don't during a storm. Our overall goal is to try and mitigate damage to homes in order to bring insurance costs down. Their testing can lead to changes in existing products, completely new ones, or even tougher building codes. If there's anything that you want to test, we'll test. For the last three years, researchers have used this wall to test structures, and already it's led to some changes. One of the elements that we did change was the policy on the roof nailing through um, the development of a ring shank nail uh, which is a nail which is much more um, robust in holding um, connections together. But it's not just homes. The Department of Transportation brought street lights in to find flaws. We put this in and it pretty much uh, wavered in the wind and then it broke where they thought it would break. Now DOT is redesigning the way lights are hung. But for researchers, 130 mile per hour winds just aren't enough. It limits what they can do. That's why they're developing a new, even more powerful wall capable of creating category four or five conditions. We're hoping within the next four to six months that we will have that up and running. This is something very dynamic and something very ambitious on our part. All in hopes of limiting the damage and destruction any hurricane can bring. In Miami, Adam Freeman, NBC2.